Guys, when it comes to human macOS interaction, this tool will probably blow your mind. Or maybe not, it blew my mind at least. But I'm pretty sure you're gonna be amazed as well. Hello guys, my name is Zinal. I'm a software engineer building database Kubernetes operators. And on this channel, we are talking about Golang, databases, Kubernetes, and general productivity and programming stuff. So if you like it, maybe consider subscribing. Last week, I posted a video about setting up my new MacBook uh, Pro machine, okay? And there I installed Alfred that I use instead of uh, Spotlight. And also I installed Rectangle, a simple tool for window management, right? And one of the comments for the video was like, why not use Raycast instead of Alfred and uh, Rectangle? And frankly, I tried Raycast like way back, but I didn't find it like that useful for me, right? And so I ditched it. And I was reading this comment and I was like, okay, let me try it again. And man, it is so good that I became sad immediately. Sad because I didn't tried it before. So let me first show uh, what is Raycast for some of you that maybe don't know about it. And then I will show you how I use it to, to basically supercharge my productivity. Okay, so Raycast is like an alternative to Spotlight or Alfred. Me personally, I was using Alfred instead of Spotlight because it, it's, a, it's better. And I need to say that everything that I will show you, maybe Alfred does. I know Alfred has a power pack and it is like really, really powerful, but I never used it. So I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But at least the, the free version be, uh, without the power pack that I used, it does not do what Raycast does. So let's see it in action. This is Raycast, a familiar look. You hook it up with a shortcut and it is always there for you. For me, it is like the default spotlight shortcut uh, command space. Of course, you can search for files. So native and the CD file. Everything is indexed and the search is really fast. Of course, you have calculators, so, and it is correct. But we also have like currency calculations. So for example, 100 USD to Euro, nice. But now we are ramping things up a bit. So for example, you can search system commands, mute. I can toggle mute or I can set the volume or I can sleep, or maybe eject all the disks. You get the point. You can also jump to a specific uh, system setting like displays or sound or wallpapers. You can search Google like this. Hey, that's me. Or DuckDuckGo. Of course, you can open like calendar but check this out. You can also see your schedule directly here. So training, stuff like that. And not just that, you can jump directly from here to a Zoom call. Starting to get cool, you can also manage windows directly from Raycast. So let's jump to my browser. I can do like almost maximize. I can do like left half and maximize again. This thing like made my rectangle application that I use for window management obsolete. I don't need it anymore. This is beautiful. There is also clipboard management built in, like clipboard history. Check this out. Man, I'm loving this. And this one is really, really cool. So I can do like create quick link. Okay. Let's say it feedly, feedly.com. Okay. And create it. And now I can do like Feedly and it will load Feedly. And there are like additional actions for each of the applications or command that you can see here. So for example, if you hit like command K, you will see that like you can show it in Finder, you can add to favorites, you can configure it. We will see this in a moment. You can copy the name, you can copy the path, hide, and like this, this is really cool. Like you can quit it. Look, you can force quit it. Cool. Okay. So this alone, for me at least, is like, I really, really like this. But the next two things are what is probably the most powerful thing about everything. And what makes this a game changer for me at least is the ability to configure everything with a keyboard shortcut or an alias and extensibility. Let's see this. 
so you can configure a keyboard shortcut or an alias to basically everything you see in, in Raycast. So for example, I can type TT and it will jump to things directly. Or for example, CC, it will jump to calendar di directly. And you can see here, it will state your it will state your alias that you that you defined. And besides aliases, you can assign a hotkey or a keyboard shortcut to basically anything that you that you see here. So for example, if I want to open Alacrity, I can jump, I can I can type Alacrity like this. But here you can see that I assigned a keyboard shortcut to it. So like control, option, shift, command plus F. When I hit this shortcut, it will jump directly to, to Alacrity. Okay. But you are probably wondering how the hell do I hit all of these modifiers without breaking my arm or something, right? So I will link my video in the description when I where I talk about like in detail about this. But this is essentially a so-called hyper key. You can configure a single key. When you press it, it will trigger all of these modifiers. You can configure it on a configurable keyboard like what I have here. So this is my Voyager keyboard. ZSA Voyager, or you can do it in software uh, with a tool called uh, Carabiner Elements. Let me show you this. This is a tool for basically configuring everything about your keyboard on macOS. And besides these simple modifications, there are these complex modifications. And here you can see a complex modification where I will hold my right command on my Mac keyboard and it will trigger Hyper. So basically when I hold my right uh, command key on my Mac keyboard, it will trigger all of these modifiers. So like I mentioned, if I hit like uh, hyper plus F, it will bring me to Alacrity. Cool. And besides Alacrity, I assigned, uh, I assigned the keyboards to a bunch of applications, like I have one for Slack, like hyper A, then my browser, Visual Studio Code, and Notion. The reason why I assigned like hyper key for these uh, different applications is because it will probably not collide with any other keyboard shortcut in any other application, right? So there is no way that the application will have a shortcut where you need to hit all of these modifiers. If it does, you probably need to uninstall it. And the way how you configure uh, shortcuts and aliases is like really easy. Let's say we want to configure aliases again. I will hit command K for additional actions, search for configure application, like that and here you can see all of the applications that you can either configure a keyboard hotkey like this or you can assign an alias here you can see i configure shortcuts for alacrity my browser and stuff like that and also i created aliases for like things and calendar really powerful and easy and now that we are here besides configuring uh, shortcuts and aliases the other thing that was like game changer about everything is extensions so the ability to basically extend Raycast with a particular app that you are using. Let's see that. So Google uh, Raycast Store. Cool. Here you can find extensions for like a lot of applications. All of the major applications, I think certainly have extension. And three extensions that I use, Arc Browser that I use, uh, GitHub and Visual Studio Code. Let me show you how I use them. So when you install them, when, when you install them, you can jump to extensions and here you will find everything. So I installed Arc, I installed GitHub and I installed Visual Studio Code. And let's see these. If I type Arc, you can see a bunch of commands that I can use with Arc. Okay, I can open tab, I can search history, the ones that I use the most are to search the tabs. And you can see I, I also uh, assigned an alias to it. So for example, I can just I can just type type arc tabs and I will search and I can search for tabs. Let's jump to this one. Cool, right? Or I can search uh, arc spaces. So arc spaces and I can jump to a particular one. Next extension that I use is GitHub. So you will install it, you will hook up your GitHub account and you can see a bunch of stuff and commands that you can do. So you can 
uh, check your GitHub actions, you can open issue, you can search repositories in general. The one that is favored for me is like my pull requests. And you can see I also have a, uh, have a alias for it. So I can just type GP and here I can see all of my pull requests like these top, top fours and pull requests that are waiting for my review, right? This is like beautiful, dude. And you can jump straight to it. Cool, man. And the next one that I use is like amazing. It is an extension for Visual Studio Code. And here you can see a bunch of things that you can do. You can install extensions, like Visual Studio Code extensions, open new win window. But what is like game changer for me is this show recent projects. And it basically allows you to jump straight to a particular project like this. And I'm inside the project. So let's say, for example, I'm, so I'm troubleshooting something about Mongo operator. I need to see what is going on inside the code, right? And I can use a keyboard shortcut that I assigned to this command and check this out. Boom, Mongo. I'm inside Mongo operator. I simply love this. So what I also configured for me is uh, I'm working on uh, four Kubernetes operators, four Percona Kubernetes database operators. And these are two for my SQL database, MongoDB and Postgres. And I often need to jump either a GitHub repo or Jira board or docs page. And with the help of quick links that I showed you earlier, I can just, for example, type PG and I can jump directly to docs page for uh, Postgres operator, Jira board or a GitHub repo. So if I do this, I will open a documentation for Postgres. And the same goes for other operators. So for example, PSMDB, Percona Surfer, MongoDB, I have the same thing. This is cool, dude. Okay, guys, like you saw, I'm pretty excited about this. And I am. For me, this is like a game changer, to be honest. The tool is so powerful. It allows me to keep my hands on the keyboard as much as possible. And when it comes to interacting with applications and like we saw system in general, I haven't found something like this so far. Raycast is amazing. I encourage you to try it out if you haven't already. I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy about it. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope it was useful for you. If you liked it, maybe give me a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing. Until the next one, take care. Bye bye.